Hey guys, Nate here. I thought I would give you a quick tutorial on how to check for a good or bad motor before you go ahead and install it. Uh, what you'll need is a bad motor and a good motor, kind of show you, or in your case, hopefully just a good motor to show you uh, how things work. A multimeter, and what we're going to do is we're going to set this to the continuity and sound. So now you can see we get a buzz when we when a connection is made between the two ends. A good motor, if you touch any two of the wires, will make a sound. There you go. Any two of the wires, they'll make a sound. On a bad motor, you can see right here, you touch any two of them and you don't get any sound. This motor, just the way it's wound, the quality it's round, these are Iashin uh, uh, 20, or sorry, uh, 1104 4000 KV motors, and some came working great. All right, so here's a little, little beep. Other ones again didn't. So before you, right after you unpack, before you install them, go ahead and do this quick test, and you'll decide you'll be able to see very quickly if you have uh, good motors or bad motors right out of the package. Thanks.